And back in 1999, I bought an auto auction in Tulsa. I renamed it Tulsa Auto Auction, and I had it up until 2005. A company came into town and said, we'd like to buy your auction. I said, well, it's not for sale. And they said, so, we still want to buy your auction. So ultimately, um, they paid me enough money, and I said, okay. Well, as soon as I sold it, I had seller's remorse. Because I love the auction business. Um, I got involved in the auction business because I became good friends with a lot of the car dealers in town because I vacationed with them. You see, I advertised, as you may know that already in Tulsa, with, for my optometric practice. And if you advertised enough with certain companies, they would take you on these trips. And they'd be exotic locales around the world. So a lot of times I'd sign up and go, well, sure. Let's, I want to go to Germany. I want to go to Hawaii. I want to go to you know, Portugal, wherever you're going, right? And so everybody on the trip would be from Tulsa and there'd be people that advertised a lot. Well, if you think about it, who advertises a lot in town? A couple guys. So on this trip, my wife and I, we would be some of the only few people that could be friends with everybody, you know, because the Ford guys would be over here, you know, giving the skunk eye to the Chevy guys over here, be giving the skunk eye to the, you know, uh, you know how it is. I'm really an entrepreneur, you know, trapped in an optometrist's body. So I get Shark Tanked a lot. People find out you're an entrepreneur. So that show Shark Tank, I go, that is my life. You know, people come into my office all the time, they're like, hey, what about this idea? You want to be part of this? You want to do this? What do you think? Advise me, if anything, you know? And then one of the trips I got Shark Tanked about getting an auto auction, I thought, well, that made a lot of sense because uh, I've got relationships with all these car dealers. So I know that relationships don't get you the business. They get you what I call the golden look, an opportunity. And then you have to provide, you have to, you have to show up. You have to take care of them. You have to provide service. You have to make sure that they're making a good business decision. You know, it's not just about friendship at that point, you know? Nothing personal, just business as I say, right? So I bought in, I bought an auto auction, and then I used those relationships, cleaned it up, brought integrity to that particular one. I fixed some of the problems that were there and then I went out to all my car dealer friends and said, hey, try me, give me a shot. There's a different feel to a business when it's a locally owned business versus a corporate entity. And locally owned, I mean, we're all about obviously being profitable, but having fun and enjoying it along the way. And having the owner right here in the, in the business, we can make decisions and take care of things like that. <laughs> When I bought it before and owned it, it took me about three, maybe four auctions before I could understand what the guys were saying. It's pretty mesmerized. You see, they're just looking at me going, what in the world are they saying? You know, people are, you know, hands going up, yeah, 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 you know. Um, but it's fun, it's exciting. But what happens physically is our, our cell barn, if you will, looks like a big garage with garage doors on either side of it. And those garage doors are open for sale and the cars physically drive through. And as they drive through, they stop and guys have, most guys have pre-inspected them on the lot. They've been here a day or two before looking at cars. They know what they're going to bid on. And so uh, you have an auctioneer and he starts the auction and he blah, 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 like you said, uh, and the high bid gets it and the lady's right there. She prints out a form, they walk over and sign it and the car drives out, the next car drives in. I like doing new things in Tulsa. You know, Tulsa's been very good to me and my family. And, you know, it's exciting to, you know, to, like take this piece of property that's been sitting dormant since forever and to turn it into an income producing and turn it into a beautiful business that's going to employ over 50 people, that's going to bring X number of dollars into the community. You know, this is going to be a regional auto auction. It's not just guys in Tulsa driving down from 11th Street to buy a car. We have guys flying in from Texas, Missouri, Kansas, Arkansas, Louisiana, um, from all over to buy cars. And, and a lot of cars actually go through Tulsa on their way to other auctions. We're gathering those up and we're going to sell them here in Tulsa. So, you know, it's going to be a little, you know, it's going to help Tulsa's economy. And that's what I love doing because I love Tulsa.